a series of experiences. And um, for those people that I think find their stride, you kind of um, glean bits and pieces from every experience you go through. I, uh, you know, for a long time, I had to define me. I had to, you know, figure out who I am. And part of that, I think, is those experiences, the sort of defining moments. Whether um, as a, a, a young boy coming here to this country uh, at the age of 10, uh, being in a uh, middle school uh, sort of situation, um, having to deal with race in this country, me being a darker skin than a white person, I was put in a black category. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what white meant. Uh, I was just me. And here I am in this, in this space where you had to define yourself. <clears throat> the black girls would look at me and say, what are you? The white girls would look at me and say, we want nothing to do with you. So here I am in the middle of this sort of limbo state, uh, not knowing where I fit in. I realized race was huge in this country. Race, the term is who gets locked up, where you get your job, who you end up with, what neighborhood you live in. Amazing. What a concept. You know, this idea of just be, by virtue of the pigment of your color, of your skin, that determines almost everything about you in this country. That was a really eye-opening experience for a young boy. In 1968, when Martin Luther King was assassinated, I saw buildings burning all around race. This issue of race in this country. Now, racism is prevalent all over the world. We know that. But in this country, there's a special layer of slavery that has not been dealt with, that has not been talked about enough, that has not been brought to the surface and continues to dog us year after year after year. Just a couple years ago, we had an election here. It was two black mayors that were running for the same office. It was all about race. It was all about race. One was perceived as the white mayor, even though it was black. The other one was perceived as the black mayor. You know, so what is that all about? We have to get beyond this idea, this construct that, is, that has been created that is all about power. And we have to get beyond that construct and be able to look at each other, not just by the, the color of our skin, but really about the depth of our character. So I think, you know, in, 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 in looking at that and seeing how segregated the city is, even though legally it's not supposed to be, in the restaurant business, I'm in the restaurant business, I'm seeing restaurants are white restaurants and other restaurants. And why are most restaurants in the city segregated? It always baffled me, the idea that you cannot have black people and white people eating together at the same table. That is an unusual sight. Still today, in 2011, it's still an unusual sight. So how can you create a space that's going to break all those barriers. It's going to bring people together culturally, uh, aesthetically, um, uh, over food. That's my competency. I know how to do food. So I bring people together in this kind of environment, lay it out there on the table, literally, and then have people come and figure it out. Because I do believe that if you create the environment to mix people in a safe, comfortable space, people will be able to move forward and be able to trust one another and be able to develop relationships, and then maybe someday, someday, we may be able to see a whole different world.